Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick little review video for you guys. This palette has been out for a hot minute and I haven't really talked about it on my channel, but I feel like it definitely deserves its moment here on Karen Harris Makeup. So I thought I'd talk to you guys about it. You've definitely seen me wear this palette in a few videos and I've definitely worn it on my Instagram and really, really enjoyed it. Colored Rain never lets me down and I was totally on the fence about picking this up because so many people were talking about how much it reminded them of the Juvia's Place Tribe palette, which was definitely one of my favorite palettes of 2018 and I was so hesitant because I feel like I always get screwed over with Colored Rain. That's my one big criticism with them is they are a business and it seems like they never get their pricing correct. So I remember when the Cheers to Beauty palette came out, I felt like it was so overpriced and the same with some of the smaller six pan palettes they released. They're now like more competitively priced but when they first came out I think I paid almost 30 something dollars for those and now I think they're selling for like 20 something which is a little bit more reasonable. So I've always hesitated with Color Rain because I always felt like I jumped the gun, paid too much money and bought it but this palette spoke to me and I just know how good their formulas are so I couldn't say no. Picked it up at launch and I'm so happy with it. So here is what the palette looks like and this outside packaging is also stunning. Um, and this is made in the USA and is cruelty free and has a 12 month shelf life. The net weight is 12.5 grams or 0.44 ounces times nine, just so you guys know. And yeah, I believe Colored Rain is a person of color owned brand. It's black owned actually. The owner was in the campaign and she looked stunning. If I can find a picture, I will throw it up in the corner here for you guys to see it. They did a fabulous job with the marketing. This collection also did consist of some lipsticks as well as some eyeshadow brushes. I didn't pick any of that up because you guys know I'm really into eyeshadow palettes. On their website, this is currently selling for $39 and is in stock while I'm filming this. Um, it just says, created after our owner Lorraine's obsession with wildlife and the safari, we introduce our first ever nine pan safari rain eyeshadow palette. This everyday palette can be used to create everyday looks with a side of bling. Formulated for ease of use, the earth tones and exotic foil shades will not disappoint. And I totally agree, you guys, do not sleep on this palette. It is so, so beautiful, oh my gosh. Definitely just takes me right back to the Colored Rain formula. So I'm going to stop blabbering and swatch this puppy for you because I did not swatch it or do a swatch party on my channel, which is what I usually do with the palette. Oh my god, these are so gorgeous. It's so pigmented and I love that because guess what? If you are like 10 shades darker than me and like we're dealing with like a non you know pigmented formula these shades are not going to show up on darker skin tones but because colored rain is owned by a person with a deeper skin tone i feel like you can tell because the shadows are gorgeous so we have toucan clay and tigress so pretty and then the next row is like some greens oh my god i've worn all of these shades on my eyeballs i wanted to do that before i reviewed it and I'm just so flipping impressed with this palette. Oh my gosh. And I love it because I can get a decent neutral look out of it. So if you were intimidated by the greens, I wouldn't be. Uh, because even the greens, you can really just kind of turn into a really sultry look. And then the last row has two shimmers. Oh my god. They're like, they feel wet. They're like so buttery. Oh, and I'm sorry, if I didn't say the names, we've got Congo Basin, Green Valley, and Jungle. And then the last row is Linus, Amazon Basin, and Matriarch. And here they are. Gorgeous! So flipping pigmented. Okay, guys, so here are the swatches with the palette. Take a look. Let me know what you think. And then since everyone was comparing it to this palette, I want to swatch this guy quick so we can look at it side by side and also... Let me just show you the palettes side by side. Obviously, Juvia's Place gives you enough eyeshadow to last you a lifetime. Also, this palette has a 24-month shelf life, 
and I believe this was like what 20 bucks or something definitely not the same price as the colored rain palettes but I believe colored rain is made in the US whereas Juvia's Place is not correct me if I'm wrong so colored rain starts off with these three beautiful matte shades I know they don't look pigmented but trust me when you're blending them into your crease they are all shimmers oh my god this palette is gorgeous as well thank you god for green eyeshadows um, here is what I have so far and then let me swatch the last row which has two mattes and a shimmer So here it is. I feel like that row has the most like dupe potential because this shimmer green or sorry This green this matte green called sand could be compared to this green and then the shimmery orange could be compared to this orange and then this olive color could be compared to this one. So yeah, that that is pretty similar. But as far as like the first couple of shades in the Tri palette, and then just like the pigmentation of this one, I think they're both definitely worth having. I have no regrets that I own both of these palettes. So take a look here and see. I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that I really love the Safari Rain palette and if you've been on the fence, I think it is money well spent if you do decide to get it or maybe it'll go on sale soon, I don't know. Keep your eye out but I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys that I've been really enjoying it and thank you so much for watching this quick video. I will see you guys in my next one soon. Bye!